Yeah, what's going on YouTube? Your boy Caviar here coming back with another video. But that means that I'm going to go into these three unboxings right here. Like I spoke on, y'all should know what these is, those, what this is right here. These two boxes, I spoke on it, said I had something coming in the mail, and I was going to get the review done. Those just came in today. And funny story, like many, many rants. Like I like I was in my secret with me working and everything, how I I set myself stuff to go to the UPS drop box. The access points are so I don't gotta worry about being home to get the packages. But in the last video I just posted, if you go back and check that out, I forgot which two was I think I did that was with the the, the cactus jack the, the cactus jack video pulled. I, I mentioned how I had up here the Atmos 95s that was supposed to be coming in and it and it said it was like some weird thing with UPS but I thought they was trying to steal the pack Nike actually got it back it was just uh, it was nothing it was nothing it wasn't trying to steal it I was like well, while I'm outside I'm gonna just go go get grab go to the store get something to drink on the way back I see the UPS truck and I know it's going all over but this story ties into those Atmos so I go in, I had I had one of these sneakers was coming in today from the GOAT. What? Well, both of these are from the GOAT. One of them came FedEx, the other one came in UPS, as you. But anyway, uh, when I, on my way back from the store, I noticed the UPS truck was around the corner from my house. So, uh, you know, instead of me going, coming all the way back upstairs just to get the alert on my phone that it was at the access point, I'm just going to go... I'm going to wait outside for a little bit and wait for the alert to come through to my phone. But some told me, go ahead and check your phone, see if it's, see if it's there, if they, see if they dropped it off at the access point first and then came, or if they're going to come 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 by and do the regular delivery. Then go. Anyway, I went in my phone, went in the app, said exception, customer refu receiver refused package. So I was like, that's funny because it was the same. Th it was the same setup. It was supposed to go to access point, and it same thing as last last with, with the Atmos. It was supposed to go to access point. It said customer refused the package, which again it was something weird to me that I don't understand how I could refuse a package that I was never like you deliver it. I go pick it up or I do so I don't know how they could do the, on the delivery date that I refuse the package if I'm not at the access point. So when I seen that, I was like, all right, well, the truck right outside, let me run and see if it's on the truck. I go, I see the UPS driver coming, and I asked him, well, hey, I had a package coming up. It said it was supposed to be at the access point, but it said it, there's an exception there. The, and then he goes back and tells, what he told me was, the access point is broken, so instead of them doing their job and delivering packages, they just decide to become the customer or the receiver and decide to say that the receiver refused the package, which I never did. It just, luckily, I caught him around the corner. And, yeah. But with that being said, with my with my little rant aside, time to get into these unboxings. Like I said, I got everything. Special shout out to my son, because if, if he didn't get home, if if my paranoia wasn't where it was, I would have never went outside, would have never seen the UPS truck, and I would have been stuck trying to figure out what happened to my sneakers yet again. But, yeah, so let's go with the first shoe here. You should know what this is. Um, see, it's a Jordan box. You should be able to get that right there. I mean, Jordan 14, them last shot things. I mean, like, like I said before, it was, uh, in the last video, as I said, I was, like, my, like I, like I said, getting everything between 1 to 14. This is the end of the race. Like I said, I only had two more to get. It was the 14th and the 7th. The 7th is going to, I believe the 7th is going to be a hard pickup for me because I really do not like the 7th. It's not a silhouette I really like. So... Yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard. Hopefully, hopefully I see get something that I like, and that's it. So let's see. Let's get this 
paper out. And here it is. Here's the June 14 last shot. I mean, these. I like the shoe. It's a cool little shoe to design. When you get behind, when you get into the intricacy of the design, where it's like it's based off of the Ferrari. I forgot which model. And so this shoe is actually based off the Ferrari F355 F1. Like I get Michael Jordan owned one of these at the time, one of those cars at the time, and I guess like they just went with that design base. They based the design of the shoe off of the car. Yeah, so it was like a cool, couple cool little things. I realized like Jordan brand quality is falling off because I don't know if you can see that right there on the back on the 23. On the top, on the top of the three, it's like a little bit like where I guess like the glue some thing came right there and got on the three and so it's not supposed to be there because you can see not on that one. So yeah, so Jordan Brand needs to keep 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 eye on that. But like I said, like the 14 was not my favorite shoe. It wasn't one of my favorite, but it's just like one of the last Jordans that was like to me. Well, it was the last one he played in, so it was the last Jordan release. Well, they were the. One. It was the last Jordan release. Why he was on wait, why, why, when he played for the Bulls, and, and then after that, everything after the four teams was kind of, you know, it's like it was it was the ones every every down to get every few in between. There was some good ones, but for the most part, they wasn't really hitting like that. So, so like a couple of cool little features on this was like I would have to say it. Like you see like right here on the hill. One you can see on the back by the two three. You see it's like tight. Red mark. Right there, and you can see right here is like these little red. Right there is like the, uh, I guess like the clear tail lights on the Ferrari. So the, the red tint, the tinted red tail lights. Then you have these like the. And right here you have in here you have a air vent right there too. If you can see that, that goes in front of the, to the inside of the shoe, and it's like an air vent to keep. Keep, I guess keep your feet cool. And it's a cool little design shoe. Like I said, it was just something. One of the things I needed to end off. Well, not end off. Be almost done with, with with the whole everything between one and fourteen. Like I said, I needed a seven just to end it all off. And yeah, these next two sneakers here coming up is like things I've been waiting for. Like, I know what's in these boxes, but I'm not sure which shoe is in which box. So, this is going to be an unboxing for both, for all of us together, doing it together. Like, you see these drinks just came in. So, we got to go ahead and get into this one. I don't know, should I do, which one was these? This one came in. These are the first ones that come in. Yeah, this is the heavier box. I'm going to go with these ones first. Uh, if y'all want to go ahead and guess before I get get the sneakers open, you can leave it down in the comments what you think they are. And uh, yeah, and this is what you do. You can comment, comment what you think they are, and leave leave the whichever shoe you did, put the time that you put your comment at. So I know it. Okay, I know what these is right here. This shoe right here. Before I pull it out the box like this, this was a shoe right here that I wanted when I first seen it. Price tag, I was kind of back and forth about it with the price, and I was just like, at at, at one like I at one point I finally got to the point where I decided against it. I wasn't gonna get the shoe. I was like the price is too crazy. But then one day I was at the store. I seen them. They had one pair left. I was like, you know what, forget it, I'm going to pay it, and that's it, I'm going to get them. But what happened when I went to the store, the one pair they had left were eight and a half, like I said, I weighed ten, ten and a half, weren't my size, so I had to go ahead and just leave it alone. But over the time, that was, a, that was one good thing that happened because it 
ended up, the sneaker ended up going on sale, the price kept on dropping, kept on dropping. And then with this shoe here in particular, I see it on the go. It was it was selling it for a little bit over half the retail price. I went ahead and put in the bid. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Like, dude, I'm going to have to take this short. Thinking like, and if you don't, then I'm going to just go back and pay what they, what, like, like, you know, just go see if you, pretty much I'm going to see if you're going to take the short. And if you don't, then I'm going to go back and pay what, the, what you asked because it was at any, at, at the price they put it at, it was still a good, it was still a good deal. But, you know, the, I put it in my bid and then it was like, I just put it in the bid, put my phone down, forgot about it. Then a while later, it came out. Got them. So without further ado, get into the shoes. You see, I mean, like you see this little goat, that goat wrapping on it. The, see that the, name the, tag on it is Zero Jordan Five Retro Premium Sequoia Sequoia Metallic Gold. See that? Ten and a half. You see that fighter jet print on the box? Well. That shark tooth print on the box. Get this. So I said the, everybody seeing it, the goat done stepped it up with the wrapping. It's not that brown. Take it back, no more on there. Like to me, these were these were the best ones out of all the set of all these premium. Look at that box is broken. They, they damn sure flag me on the foot for a messed up box and ain't catch dude on his broke. But all right. I'll take that. Here's a little goat joint where they reviewed the sneakers. They carefully authenticated this pair. Didn't authenticate the box because they had nothing about it having a damaged box on the thing, but whatever. Here's Jordan 5, 5 Premium. Get that little car right there, little, little good quality joint right there. Put that in the box. I mean, Right, so a dust bag. And with that being said, this is this all I wanted actually. I don't care about sneakers. Nah, I'm just joking. I mean, like so a dust bag. I ain't gonna lie. This is gonna be just like the towel for the Gatorades. It's never probably gonna get used, but it's a dope little drink. Know what I mean? Got that right there, bang. Drink. And then the moment of truth. Is the shoe. Waiting for these for a good long time. That Vantetta tan level on the tongue. I mean, these drinks was just too dope when they came out. But like I said, that $400 price tag was crazy. I thought about it. Almost did it. Turned out that I didn't I ended up not getting them and then they sold out so I wasn't able to secure the pair at that time but I mean like they say if you really want something you wait you keep checking on it and sometimes the price you might get it for a price that's within your budget or you might have the money for it. Like this is, this is a dope shoe holding up. I mean you should do that. I mean Here's Jordan 5 Premium Take Flight. And like I said, it was the best one out of all. All of them. It was an old shoe. Been a million reviews on these, but first time I'm reviewing them, so you can call it what you want. You might have seen these reviews, but it's just, you ain't never seen me do it. Quality on these shoes is dope. It's actually a very. Uh, I'm gonna compare it. a little bit later. I'm gonna compare them to my my other five, but these feel a little bit heavier than the normal one. Maybe it's the material, but yeah, yeah, these joints are too dope, too dope. Like this material is just like this is dope. This shoe was just like I said. This shoe was just something that I wanted. It was just I was looking for it. Got like that nice icy bottom. I mean, it's clear. It, it, it was, I don't know, it was just a shoe that I wanted. But $400 was a lot to pay. Then I kept on seeing all the other joints. 
going on. Like it was like a lot of other sites that. Well, no, they came out with the other ones. It was the, I believe it was the champagne one. Was it champagne? I forgot what the color. It was those, the black, the white. But like I said, the first ones that came out, these were just the best. Nothing else had actually helped. Came up and held a held a, a candle to these drinks. These are just too dope. I had to get them. When I see him price, I ain't gonna lie, a low ball dude. I didn't think he was gonna take the price, but I ended up paying almost like like at, at Texas, I paid almost under. Yeah, like I said, the Jordan premium take flight five. I mean, like, on that's that for these. About to get into that other shoot. I that know other what these are, are, but you don't know what these are. So it'll be it. Let's go for this unboxing number two. These were the ones that came through FedEx, so it was a little bit easier process. Didn't have to deal with all that dumb stuff with like they did with the other one. Go. Right. These are the number one they came out. These shoes here, that you see is another pair of Jordans. These came out earlier this year, about a month or two months ago. I can't, I can't really remember the exact time it came out, but these are just serious dope. They, they were the dope, like one of the those sneakers, I, me personally, that I've seen come out this year, and I just was something I had to have, but I believe it was only the sneakers that released, if I'm not mistaken, so I missed out on the sneakers, I didn't get them on the sneakers app, so, you know, whatever, didn't get them, I was like, whatever, then when I went to check the resale price, the resale prices on these were, it was pretty up there at first. But well, over time, they started coming down, coming down, coming down, and finally got to a price that I, excuse, that I deemed was decent enough for me to pay for them. So I believe I only paid maybe what ten to fifteen dollars over retail for these. So again, it's from the go. You see, it's that little little tag right here. I don't know if the same person reviewed these that reviewed the last pair. This what else? But the sneakers, is it the shoe? This right here, Ooh. these is crap. The Carlisle with Jingo design right here coming up. That way it's normally be the patent level or whatever it is right there. See right, you got the gold drinks right here on the mid. So, the lace drinks is, got that gold hits right there. Predominantly why you got that 15 on the back. The gold jump man symbol back there. That's this shoe was something like when I seen it, it was something that I knew I wanted. Like I said, I missed out on it. I, I hope the quality is I mean you got the that install like I said I ain't gonna like, if I wish you it was, I had it. I popped it into and realized the into was supposed to come out. But these are come. You got the mellow on the so right there, the orange and so. I mean, the typical Jordan. I mean, this shoe, this shoe is just a dope shoe. The quality on this, Not the like execution on this milky bottom right there, like these. Like, I haven't done my, the soul protector on very many and on too many of my sneakers lately, but I think because of the, how the bottoms of these, I might have to do it to keep these pristine and all that. But this is just a dope shoe when I see it, and now that I have it in hand, I like it even better. Like I said, this is one of the better shoes, like one of the dopest shoes that came out this year. I just like the execution of it. Like I'm trying to figure out the gold right here is something like. Hopefully it's it's a it's a high quality paint so it's not gonna flake off what they do after wearing it. I mean it's just shoes just dope executed shoes like 
It wasn't, they didn't overdo it. They, it was something done just right. I mean, like,